end of globalization as we know it, how robotization is reshaping global economy. For decades globalization was the cornerstone of economic policy and trade. The seamless movement of goods, capital and services across borders transformed economies, especially those in developing nations. Countries like China, India and Vietnam emerged as global manufacturing hubs, lifting millions out of poverty and driving economic growth in ways the world had never seen. Cheap labor and vast production capacity made these countries essential components of the global supply chain, fueling the rapid rise of consumer goods industries in Europe and the United States. But the forces that once drove globalization are now evolving. New technologies, most notably automation, robotics and artificial intelligence AI, are dramatically altering the global economic landscape. The very foundations of globalization, outsourcing and low-cost labor, are beginning to crumble as industries increasingly rely on robots and AI to perform tasks once outsourced to countries with cheaper workforces. A paradigm shift is underway, where the once clear advantages of offshoring are being questioned, and the future of global trade looks very different from the one we've known. This technological revolution is reshaping global trade patterns, labor markets, and industrial strategies. In the heart of this transformation lies the critical question, is globalization as we know it over, rise and peak of globalization, solving poverty and hunger. Globalization, in its heyday, was more than just a strategy to cut costs, it was a transformative force. For many developing countries, it provided a pathway out of extreme poverty, hunger, and high mortality. In countries like China and India, millions of people found stable employment as global manufacturers set up operations in pursuit of low-cost production. Factories churned out everything from textiles to electronics, and in return, these nations gained access to the world market, boosting their GDP, raising living standards, and transforming their infrastructure. For consumers in the West, globalization meant cheap goods, mass-produced at low costs in distant lands. The iPhone, a symbol of the globalized economy, is a prime example. Designed in California, assembled in China, and sold worldwide, the iPhone became a testament to the power of global supply chains. In exchange for low prices, the West offshored millions of manufacturing jobs, and while this led to economic dislocations in some regions, it was largely seen as a beneficial trade-off. But while globalization helped solve the problems of poverty and hunger for millions, it came with significant drawbacks, many of which only became apparent as the world grew increasingly dependent on far-flung production hubs. Fragility of excessive globalization. Globalization's inherent fragility became glaringly obvious during the COVID-19 pandemic. Factories shuttered, shipping routes stalled, and entire industries ground to a halt. Countries that had become heavily dependent on global supply chains faced shortages of essential goods, from medical supplies to everyday consumer products. Suddenly, the once praised efficiency of globalization turned into a liability. The disruption of just a few key nodes in the global supply chain led to ripple effects across the world, exposing the vulnerabilities of excessive reliance on distant production. This fragility wasn't just a result of the pandemic. Even before COVID-19, growing trade tensions, rising labor costs in previously low-wage countries, and environmental concerns had begun to chip away at the foundations of globalization. The political climate in many parts of the world turned inward, with leaders calling for more domestic production and less dependence on foreign manufacturing. Brexit, trade wars between the US and China, and the rise of protectionist policies are all signs of a shifting global landscape. But what was once driven by political and economic pressures is now being accelerated by something far more transformative. Robotization, automation and robotization, new frontier. The rise of automation and robotics represents a seismic shift in how goods are produced. The old model of outsourcing labor-intensive tasks to countries with cheap labor is becoming less relevant as robots take over those tasks. Automation technologies, which were once the domain of highly specialized industries, are now accessible to a wide range of sectors. From automotive manufacturing to electronics assembly, robots are increasingly doing the jobs that were once done by low-wage workers in developing countries. This shift is particularly evident in advanced manufacturing sectors. Take for example Tesla's Gigafactories where robots handle much of the production process, from welding car bodies to assembling batteries. Elon Musk's vision of a fully automated factory is not just a glimpse into the future, it's happening now. The introduction of Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, further underscores this trend. With the potential to perform tasks traditionally handled by humans such as assembly line work, 
Optimus signals a new era in manufacturing where automation, not labor, drives efficiency and productivity. This is not limited to Tesla. Across industries, companies are investing heavily in robotics and AI to streamline production, reduce costs, and improve quality. The benefits are clear. Robots can work 24 7 without the need for breaks, wages, or healthcare benefits. They perform repetitive tasks with greater precision than humans and are immune to the challenges that human labor faces, such as illness or fatigue, reshoring the return of local production. As robotization eliminates the need for cheap labor, countries that once offshored their manufacturing are now considering reshoring, bringing production back home. The rationale is simple. If robots can do the work that once required low-cost human labor, there's no longer a need to rely on distant countries for production. Instead, goods can be made closer to the point of consumption, reducing shipping costs, increasing supply chain resilience, and minimizing the environmental impact of global trade. The economic and geopolitical benefits of reshoring are significant. By producing goods domestically, countries can reduce their exposure to global supply chain disruptions, whether caused by pandemics, trade disputes, or environmental disasters. The ability to manufacture locally also reduces dependence on foreign suppliers, offering greater control over critical industries and national security. Moreover, reshoring aligns with the growing emphasis on sustainability. The environmental costs of shipping goods across oceans are substantial, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions and pollution. Local production, powered by robots, offers a more sustainable alternative, cutting down on transportation-related emissions and allowing countries to reduce their carbon footprints. No need for new cross-continent roads from East Asia to Europe. For years, ambitious infrastructure projects, such as new cross-continent roads and railways connecting East Asia to Europe, have been seen as vital to the future of global trade. Projects like China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI aim to reduce the time and cost of transporting goods across continents, linking production hubs in East Asia to consumer markets in Europe. The vision was to create sprawling networks of transportation routes, further entrenching the globalized economy. But the rise of local production, powered by automation and robotics, is rendering these projects less necessary. As countries shift towards reshoring and localized production, the need for vast infrastructure to transport goods across continents is diminishing. Industries no longer need to rely on cheap labor in East Asia when they can produce goods closer to home using robots and AI. Moreover, this shift helps address growing environmental concerns. The environmental impact of long-distance transportation, be it by truck, rail or ship, has become a pressing issue. Local production, which reduces the need for cross-continental freight, offers a more sustainable solution by cutting down on carbon emissions and the ecological footprint of global trade. In this new economic paradigm, the need for massive cross-continent roads linking East Asia to Europe is being supplanted by localized tech-driven manufacturing hubs that prioritize efficiency, sustainability, and resilience. What happens to developing economies? While reshoring and automation present opportunities for advanced economies, they pose significant challenges for developing nations that have built their economic growth on globalization and cheap labor. Countries like China, India, Vietnam, and Bangladesh rose to prominence as manufacturing hubs, but as robotization makes cheap labor less of a competitive advantage, these economies face an uncertain future. China, for example, is not sitting idly by. Recognizing the growing importance of automation, the country is investing heavily in its own robotics industry. China is now the largest market for industrial robots, and it's rapidly transitioning from a low-cost labor market to a high-tech manufacturing powerhouse. Companies like BYD and NIO are at the forefront of China's push into the electric vehicle market, while the country also seeks to dominate the production of advanced technologies such as semiconductors, 5 grams infrastructure, and AI. China's evolving strategy reflects a broader trend among developing countries to move up the value chain, shifting from labor-intensive industries to more technology-driven sectors. But the transition won't be easy, and many countries may struggle to adapt to the new economic reality. Globalization, a new model for global economy. As the world moves away from the old model of globalization, a new hybrid approach is emerging, globalization. This model combines the benefits of global technological advancements with the advantages of local production. In a globalized economy, Countries leverage global innovation in automation and robotics to bring production closer to home. It's a balance between maintaining international trade and reducing dependence on distant supply chains. Globalization allows companies to enjoy the efficiencies of automation while building more resilient, sustainable supply chains. 
It encourages nations to develop local industries that can compete globally, powered by technology rather than labor. This shift will redefine global trade patterns, with industries producing goods locally, but still benefiting from the global flow of ideas, technologies, and innovations. Eco-utopia and agrobots, a new frontier for rural living and local production. As the global economy pivots towards localized production, driven by automation and robotics, a new vision of eco-sustainability is emerging. The integration of urban and rural life through agrobots, autonomous agricultural robots, is redefining how societies manage food production and live in harmony with nature. In this vision, many people are choosing to leave cities for the countryside, where they can enjoy a higher quality of life while still benefiting from advanced technologies. In these eco-utopias, countryside living becomes central. Families can live in spacious villas surrounded by nature, where agrobots tend to gardens, orchards, and small farms. These robots take care of the labor-intensive tasks, allowing people to enjoy the serenity of rural life without being burdened by the demands of traditional farming. Agrobots monitor environmental conditions, optimize yields, and efficiently manage resources, making residents largely self-sufficient. This lifestyle is particularly appealing to those whose jobs have been displaced by automation. With traditional employment increasingly taken over by robotics, people can relocate to the countryside where they can benefit from a minimal basic income the government provides. Most of their daily needs, such as food, water and energy, are locally produced or easily shared through cooperative networks with their neighbors. This rural eco-utopia not only enhances personal well-being, but also reduces reliance on centralized global supply chains. With the majority of needs met locally through villa and neighborhood cooperation, residents require minimal external support. They can live sustainably and contribute to the broader community while maintaining a relaxed and fulfilling lifestyle in harmony with nature. As the world transitions towards localized production and sustainability, this model of countryside living, powered by technology, offers a compelling vision of the future. It bridges the gap between high-tech automation and rural self-sufficiency, offering a solution that promotes both environmental responsibility and a better quality of life. For more details on this vision, see the article on Eco-Utopia and Agrobots here. Conclusion end of globalization, beginning of a new era. The global economy stands at a pivotal juncture. The era of excessive globalization driven by offshoring and cheap labor is rapidly fading. In its place, a new model is emerging, one powered by robotics, AI, and automation, marked by localized production and technological innovation. This transformation presents significant challenges, particularly for developing economies that have long relied on low-cost manufacturing. However, it also unveils new opportunities. Advanced economies are poised to benefit from reshoring, reducing supply chain vulnerabilities, and advancing sustainability through localized, tech-driven production. For developing nations, the priority will be moving up the value chain, investing in technology and embracing higher-value high-tech industries. Additionally, the concept of eco-utopia offers a forward-thinking solution for addressing potential mass unemployment particularly in regions where automation is likely to displace traditional jobs. By fostering self-sustaining technology-driven communities, where local cooperation and automation, such as agrobots in agriculture, meet daily needs, these areas can build economic resilience and reduce dependency on global supply chains. This vision complements broader strategies to develop sustainable, self-sufficient economies across both developed and developing nations. In this emerging era, globalization provides a balanced approach. The world will remain interconnected, but production will increasingly be localized, sustainable and resilient. The rise of robotics and automation is redefining the fundamentals of the global economy, and the future will belong to those who can embrace and adapt to these changes. The age of excessive globalization may be coming to an end, but a new chapter is beginning, one where technology, innovation and local production reshape the world's economic future.